Hey, everybody. Today, we're going to dive into Social Security. We've you probably heard, you know, the average Social Security benefit in America, things like that. We're going to take it a little bit further, and we're going to look at an average Social Security breakdown by age of the recipient, um, what the effects of early retirement, delayed retirement, how many people take Social Security early, how many people take Social Security late, and things like that. Before we dive in, please take a minute and check out the link you see on your screen, fool.com slash Franklin. Hit subscribe to my channel. I talk about Social Security all the time, as well as a bunch of other different financial and investing topics. So please subscribe to my channel and join us on this journey. Again, the link to check out is fool.com slash Frankel. It's a great way to support this work I'm doing on YouTube. So let's dive right in. Let me go ahead and share my screen real quick. Okay. So right here, you see just a couple of highlights before we get started. The average retired worker, this is the overall average, gets a little over $1,900 per month from Social Security. Now, that includes people who claim early, before their full retirement age, who claim at their full retirement age, and who claim late. So a couple of statistics before we get started, and this is why we need to look at it really in three different groups. 63% of all retired workers collecting Social Security started getting it before their full retirement age. Um, if you were born in 1960 or later, your full retirement age is 67. It's a little bit earlier if you were born in the 1950s, depending on which exact year you were born. So that's about 31 and a half million people out of right around 50 million retired workers who collect Social Security. 12, only 12% 12 of retired workers didn't start collecting until after they reached full retirement age. About 6 million people out of those 50 million. So the numbers are very different depending on what group you're in. And if you do some quick math, that means roughly one-fourth of Social Security beneficiaries start collecting at their full retirement age. Don't, they don't get penalized for early retirement. They don't get delayed retirement credit. So here's what, why we really need to consider these as separate baskets. If you retire early, the average 62-year-old who gets Social Security gets about $1,298 a month, just shy of $1,300 a month. Meanwhile, the average retired worker's primary insurance amount, meaning the amount they would get if they waited until full retirement age, is almost $1,000 a month more than that, $2,279 per month. So early retirement does make a big, big difference, especially if you take it as early as possible. You can collect Social Security starting at any time after you turn 62 all the way up till age 70. So let's go through the numbers. <clears throat> so there's three columns here. I mentioned there are three groups that we need to consider. The middle column is all retired workers. So these are the overall averages by age. On the left, you have people who started collecting Social Security early. It doesn't specify what age, just any time before they reach their full retirement age. So for example, right here, this 1,630 for 70-year-old early retirees, this is anybody who originally took Social Security before they hit their full retirement age, and now they are just 70 years old. Um, similarly, for the 70-year-old column in delayed retirement, this is just people who are 70 now. It doesn't necessarily mean they waited till 70. They could have started collecting Social Security at age 68 or age 69 or any time in between. Uh, they just happen to be 70 years old now. So you'll notice a few things here. Um, one, you'll notice these two um, columns match up for the first four numbers. That is because all retired workers who are getting Social Security and are 65 or younger, by definition, all of them took Social Security early. So that's why the early retirement columns match up. It's down here where you really start to see a discrepancy. So I mentioned the average person who was born in 1960 or later has a full retirement age of 67 years old. So of all retired workers, the average person who collects Social Security is getting $1,884 per month. Now that includes a lot of early retirees, but by definition doesn't really include many delayed retirees, people who started collecting after full retirement age. That's why you see this big jump right here. It's over $500 a month difference difference between the average 67-year-old who took, took Social Security and who waited till after their full retirement age to start collecting. So you can see, I'm going to leave this up here for just a second. This is, there are some big differences. If you look down at the 70-year-old column, the average 70-year-old who took Social Security early and the average 70-year-old who waited, there's roughly a $1,400 a month difference between the monthly benefit they get. 
that makes a big difference in quality of life after retirement, especially considering that Social Security is the only form of guaranteed inflation-protected income that most retirees have. So how much would you get from Social Security? So if you're wondering your kind of your specific benefits, so far all we've talked about are averages. Social Security is based on your 35 highest earning years adjusted for inflation. This is just kind of the, the broad strokes of how the formula works. So what Social Security does, they look at every year that you've earned money in your lifetime, adjust each one for inflation based on a multiplier that kind of reflects the, the inflation between each year and now, and looks at the highest 35. It adds those up, in, well, it indexes them for inflation, adds them up, and then divides them by 12 to get a monthly average. That monthly average is applied to a formula that changes each year to calculate what's known as your primary insurance amount, or PIA. That's how much you would be entitled to if you waited until full retirement age to start collecting your benefits. So, as you've seen, only about one quarter of retirees start collecting Social Security at their full retirement age. So full retirement age is, as I mentioned, 67 for Americans born in 1960 or later, um, pretty much at subtract two months for every year before 1960. So somebody born in 1959, it would be 66 years and 10 months uh, and so on and so on. Here are the rules for reduction and addition. So for early retirement, your benefits are permanently reduced for by six and two thirds percent per year up to three years before full retirement age. So up Till for for people getting there now up till age 64. The effect is if you, for all three years, if you just multiply that percentage by three, um, that's 20% total reduction if you claim exactly three years early. Beyond those three years, your Social Security benefit is reduced by another 5%. So if you claim four years early, that would be a 25% reduction. And if you claim five years early, which is age 62, if your full, re full retirement age is 67, that would be a 30% total reduction, and that's a permanent reduction in benefits. On the other hand, if you decide to wait beyond full retirement age, your benefits are increased by 8% per year up until as late as age 70. So if your full retirement age is 67 and you wait till 70, your Social Security benefit can be 24% higher than it otherwise would have been. That really explains the difference you saw in that chart. And as you said, this is based on your work record. Uh, all we've seen in the charts are averages, so depending on how much you earn throughout your career. So you can check your own estimates based on what age. They, give, they break it down by age just like this on your annual Social Security statement, which you can create an account if you haven't done so already at ssa.gov. Um, view your latest Social Security statement. You can see your entire work record. There's a lot of valuable information. And most importantly, you can get an, a personalized estimate of what your benefit could be based on your own work record and based on what age you decide to start claiming benefits. On mine, I saw a separate estimate for age 62, 63, 64, all the way up to age 70. And it really kind of puts it in perspective the difference it would make for by waiting for a few years. It also contains information of other valuable programs like disability benefits and things to that effect. So. Please leave me any questions you might have. Hopefully you found this informative. I enjoy answering Social Security questions, so fire away. Um, and until next time, thank you for watching. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for investors of all skill sets and risk levels. You all know how much I love researching new stocks and trying to find the next best investment. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from the popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by nearly five times. So go to fool.com slash Frankel to get your 10 stock picks now. The Motley Fool Stock Advisor returns are 767% as of July 5th, 2024, and are measured against the S&P 500 returns of 163% as of July 5th, 2024.